Deep in the backwoods of Virginia, an old man lived in a cabin all by himself. His only companions in the woods were his three hunting dogs. One night, the old man was sitting down to a pitiful meal of beans. He hadn't been able to catch a single thing that day. Now he sat at dinner, quite unhappy not to have at least a little meat to make the food more, more tolerable. As he thought on this, he realized a strange creature was peering over the table at him. It wasn't one of his dogs. No, it was the weirdest thing he had ever seen. The creature's most noticeable traits were its piercing yellow eyes and its long furry tail that winded around like a snake ready to strike. How did you get into my house, you varmint? The old man jumped up with his hunting knife and slashed at the creature. The thing screeched at him and darted to one of the holes in the siding of the cabin. Before the creature could get completely through, the old man sliced its tail off. The creature disappeared to the outside and could be heard scrambling through the woods. Though confused and frightened by this mysterious creature, the old man was content in finally having some meat to add to his supper. He cooked up the tail and ate the rest of his meal in peace. After that, he plugged up the holes in the siding to prevent any more critters from entering his home, and then headed to bed. Full from the meal, the old man quickly fell asleep. It was not very long before the old man was awoken by the sound of scratching at his door. Tailey, a voice from the other side cracked. Tailypaw, give me back my tailypaw. The old man whistled for his hunting dogs. The dogs ran after the creature, and their barking was soon heard in the, dis in the distance. When the dogs finally returned, there were only two. The man was very upset, but being unable to do anything at the moment, he returned to bed. Before the old man could get to sleep, a voice cried from under the door. Taily ball, taily ball, give me back my taily ball. The man sent his dogs after the creature again, only to have one return. Now the young man was uneasy and tossed in his bed, waiting for the creature to call again. He heard scratching on his window. The yellow eyes glowered in. Taily ball, taily ball. Give me back my table ball. Before the old man could even respond, his last hunting dog already began the chase. The man waited, but the dog never returned. It was almost done. His nerves were getting to him, but he had barely gotten any sleep. So, against his will, the old man drifted off to sleep. A cold wind swept through the room, shocking the man awake. The hole in the siding was open again. He heard skittering around the room, and tried to make out where the creature was in the dark. Two glowing yellow eyes appeared at the foot of, a, of the bed. The creature began to crawl towards the man. Taily Paul, Taily Paul, give me back my Taily Paul. But I don't have your Taily Paul, the man started out. Yes you do, the creature howled and lunged at the man. The fate of the old man is unknown, but for certain no one heard from him or his dogs again.